G'day everyone and welcome back to Eco Global Survival. When we were last here we did a bunch of grinding running around the world looking for prickly pears and all the resources we needed for some research and building tasks. So let's go ahead and see what we've come up with. I've also just been and done a little bit more hunting because there's some things we want to try out in this episode. So if we come in here just link up that stockpile. We should have. What we'll do is we'll just dump off some of our kills here. Uh, why did. Oh, you can only stack five. That kind of blows. Alright. We do need to get rid of some of the beans and fiddlehead. No, we'll, we'll deal with that shortly. Uh, let's just link that. Okay, so we've definitely got we got some new skill books, which is awesome. So we'll learn some research, and then we will start working on what we need to do to craft some tables for that. First, we're going to we also have a butchery table, which is good. A farmer's table, sorry, because that's something we need to work on. Because we need to. Where are they? Where are they? prickly pears. We need to grow them because there's, if you come in here, if you hit C, you can see how many there are of something left. And there's only four. So that is an issue. We need to find the one bulrush, uh, the two bulrush plants, because we need to get one of those and craft and hopefully grow it. Um, yeah, so anything that's sort of really low, we need to um try and grow. So prickly pears first on our list. So that's why we made the farmer's table, so we could make prickly pear seeds. And yeah, so that's good. So we have a farmer's table. Also have a bunch of bison. Here we'll put the hares in there, the bison in there, and the wolf in there. Looks like they'll load a little bit. Because one of the skills we learned was butchere. So we'll go back into the table. Shouldn't have closed that. Uh, we'll come over here. Come over to research land. And let's see what research we did. Alright, so storage. Things we haven't learnt yet. Engineering book. Masonry, we've learnt that. Agriculture, they're the ones we've learnt. Cooking, we've learnt. Now, where are the new ones? Butchery, that's new. So we learnt the butchery book. Carpentry's new, not new. Civics, no. So what else did we... It's just the butchery book we, uh... Just wish we could combine these deeds, that's the only thing. Um, we had somewhere else to store them, because they're starting to get annoying. So anyway, let's go and learn the butchery skill scroll. So if we click on that, we've learnt butchery, and we should have picked up another five of those, which is good. I'm pretty sure we've learnt all of these other ones. Um, a way to check. Yeah, so engineering we've learnt, because we've put points in there. See, I don't think there's anything left out of these books to learn up. Which is good. Masonry, we put some points in there. Now, one thing we do need to definitely put points into, and we're trying to up our points here, 
is this one. We need to level this up because given how few prickly pears there are, the more seeds we get the better. So what I'm going to do, we've got eight prickly pears. So I'm not going to put any more points into it just yet. Um, because we want to see how many we get for one. So let's take our agriculture table, farmer's table. We'll come over here. I don't think we can put it in this room. So we'll put it in, we'll put it over here. And it's a bit weird. It looks like the butchery table. So we'll put it over on this wall. So we'll rotate that. Come on. Step back. Really want it. I don't know why it jumped to the right like that. So we'll pick it up and much better. Right where we want it. Shame that there's all that space, but I'm sure there's anything I can necessarily. You know what? Let's have one more try, see if we can't get it flush as being marginally... I don't think my OCD will let me... We can't put it there because it's blocked. Well, that does. Yeah, right. So it will not go flush against a wall, which is really annoying. Um, any hoop, nothing we can do about that. So let's go in here and see what happens if we order one prickly pear seed. So it costs two prickly pear fruit, which is sort of not really great. Um, We're going to need a hoe. No, I don't think we get one as such. I don't think we have been granted a hoe. No. Alright, so we have to build a hoe. And we need a soil sampler, which we've got. Awesome. We do need to build a hoe, so we'll order a hoe. Hopefully this comes out at... Uh, Gives us a quality 69 morale boost. Alright, so prickly pear job is finished. So somewhere in here there will be prickly pear seed. They look like is all right. So we got one prickly pear seed out of two prickly pears. So my question is, why do you pump points into this where it says, "Ah, oh, decreases cost"? Okay, cool. So it got us down to got us down to two prickly pears. Hmm. Right, so we need to put some points into this to get the yield of next time if we ever pick one up. Alright, All right, so we get a seed next time. Alright, cool. That was worth a quick spend. Alright, so let's go into cooking and see if we can put some points into... Butchery. Actually, let's find butchery wherever the Sam Hill that might be. Here, butchery. Prepare meat. Yes. So we want raw rice, raw sausage, prime cut recipe, butcher bison recipe. That's definitely what we want. So, I'll see how much this is going to cost. Let's go. All right. Let's max that out. 
Beautiful. Let's see. Butchery efficiency. Yes, we definitely want butchery efficiency. I want three levels of that at least. Uh, what's this one? Meat prep efficiency. Yep, so we definitely want that. I'm a big fan of the efficiency. In case you can't tell, I really, really like the um, efficiency skills. The speed ones I'm not so fussed about because I can, especially at this level, because I can sit back and wait um, as such. So now we have our hoe, which is awesome. Alright, so now we need to work out where we plant our. Um, Quickly, pear seed. Okay. Doesn't really help me. Compost pile. Hmm. Don't know what a compost pile is going to do. They're not expensive to make. Let's order one up. I wonder if I could put seeds into it. That'd be cool. Um, Alright, let's test out our soil sampler. So, from memory, I did use this once before. If you point at a block and click, uh, right click, uh, left click, sorry, brings up and tells you what you, what that current block of dirt is like so temperatures nine and a half rainfalls good water spread no pollution All right so now I think theoretically if you come back in here and just extend that a little bit go to storage find our Prickly pear seed. I'm hoping it tells me. No, I don't want to consume it, so I need to be careful. How we. Doesn't actually tell us what we need to grow it. Hmm. Yes, so that's sort of. I'm thinking you need to. Probably need to grow it in a desert block. Now, just so happens that we have some here. So what I think we'll do is we'll take our soil sampler, and we're going to run down there and just have a quick. Look, we'll do some soil sampling down there. Should we go the right way? Yes, we are. Just be that way a little bit. Oh, no fall damage. So cool. Um, so yes, we'll come down here. And just get a bit of a sense for what the soil sampler tells us of the desert area. We might just hoe up a little bit of this desert and plant the prickly pears here plant that prickly pear seed and see what happens so alright so this is a desert block so we've got our soil sampler desert sand block alright cool well what I'm going to do I'm going to hit the Hit the hoe, and we're gonna give that a hoeing. Okay. 
and we'll sample it again. Till dirt block. Cool. All right. So what we'll do? Let's go back home. Get our prickly pear seed. We should have brought it with us. That was a bit daft. But any, that's all good. Come on, jump. Come on, you like Van Halen, buddy? Excellent. Nice. You might as well jump. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, Wolf. You're going to die at some point. Yes, I'm not a fan. So somewhere in the desert sections, there should be a creosote bush, which we need to... We need to also get that and try and grow that. Not that I know exactly what I'm going to use it for, or even if I'm pronouncing it correctly. But it's all part of life's rich tapestry. The joys of being an eco naught Yes, yeah, so I hope you're all enjoying this series. I... Having a blast of playing this game. Lots of grinding happening off camera. Share. Uh, just link all these stockpiles. Alright. Prickly pear seed. Yoink. Okay, let's go. So, my theory is that you have to plant them in the, in the best chance of good growth, I guess. Plant them in the areas that they came from. Um, I'm not sure if that's entirely how this is supposed to work, but we're going to do this as a test. Just see what happens. Now I might do a little bit more research off camera. See if... Uh, prickly pear growing if there's any tips Whoop. Oh, wrong side of the wrong side of the waterfall we could also look for our creosote bush but alright so nine line it up plant okay or how we prickly pear temperature match okay desired is 17 and a half uh, moisture match a bit over 23% so it's not great okay well that's what we need for moisture and what you can do about temperature I'm actually going to do. I'm just going to take a quick screenshot of that because I want that information for later. Uh, sorry, guys. My So we'll need that information next time we get a seed. But I'm going to let that grow. We'll see what happens when it when it's done. Uh, there's a new one up here. There we go. Oh look, hi Wolfie. You're going to be dinner one day. Now, all right, cool. So we've done that. We. So that's saying that it's ideal temperature 17. So that's 13. That's well, that's common grass. Okay, cool. What's the temperature in our little area? Hmm. Might almost pay to go back to where the prickly pears were we'll do a sample on one of them but anyway so what's our land like up here nine degrees so yeah 
it wouldn't be worth planting prickly pear up here. Alright, cool. So, now that we've learnt butchere, we need to butcher up a butcher's table. So, I think we make it here. We do need to make a quarry. That is actually something I thought I'd done. Let's have a look here. No. Oh, we've got our compost pile. I don't know what that's going to do. But let's have a look. It doesn't. Yeah. Not much to go on. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to craft up quarry because we're going to need to start making stone blocks so order one of those and close that come over to our carpenter's table guessing this is where we make our butchery table so butchery table yep got sufficient resources to make that so we need to make the quarry because we're going to need the bloomery because we need to make a kitchen at some point. Um, just, then we need to get on to all these other things. Um, we need to start getting into um, Wainwright table. Lots of... Uh, Lots of tables to make. Um, anyway, let's come out here and see what happens if we try to place a compost pile. Let's come over here. Do a nine. Okay. Interesting. Let's put it down, see what happens. Compost pile object. Cool. Uh, okay, don't know what the compost pile does, but I know it's a compost pile object. Um, I don't think we're going to have that unsightly compost pile object sitting there, folks. Um, we're going to put the compost pile in the cart for the moment, if I can. I can use this just to stash. Yes, good. You sit there and think about what you've done, compost pile. And we're going to see how long this butchery table is going to take. We'd really like to do some butchery before the end of this episode. Or at least attempt some. Three minutes. Right. Now, we don't have any arrows, so we can't go hunting. Disappointing. Now, what are we making over here? Quarry. That's going to be seven minutes. Alright, so. While that's happening, we're going to go and grab some... Wood. Yes, we're going to knock some trees. Knock this tree down. It's giving me a bit of lip. Particularly liking the look of this tree, you can go to Soka. Of course, you had to fall into the freaking river. Oh, that is that is annoying. Um, what would be really nice is if we could. Uh, aim where the trees are going to fall, like that's something I think the guys at Strange Loop really need to work on, because now it's the second lot of freaking logs I've got stuck down there and that is just diabolically annoying um alright, well let's see, if I start chopping from here it should fall either that way or straight ahead, not sideways. And then I've got to try and 
use my body to <laughs> sort of block it. Um, Frustrating by half. Yeah. So Dev's got a bit of work to do on. So this is, I guess, this is my one bugbear in this game is targeting the. It's yeah. It's the one. For all the things that in the game, the one thing that bugs me is. Uh, damn it, won't well, let me put it into a stockpile from there. Kind of sucks and blows. Um, what I sort of. Yeah, so what sort of really annoys me is that. Yeah, the targeting just takes forever to catch up. Now, I don't know if that's a function of. function necessarily of. Um, server latency or just. the game being a. alpha. Um, yeah. It's probably the one thing that. An, of all the things, it's, it's probably the one thing that annoys me. Um, about the game. Apart from that, I really don't have anything that drives me drives me nuts. So that is a good thing. Um, so we'll just finish chopping this tree up, and moving, cutting it back to our stockpile. As we See, there's your targeting again, folks. Right there. Right there is an example of what I mean about the way the targeting in this game works. Um, or well, doesn't quite keep up with what you're trying to do. Um, you can be aiming straight ahead at the stockpile and the log places down as uh, you're trying to build there. Uh, it's just little things. It's it's really is and it's it's, ho it's stuff that I'm sure they'll work on as they get closer to release, proper release coming out of alpha. Um, so I'm not, you know, not uh, not stressed about it, but I I will sort of mention it from the just because if people don't mention if, if we as sort of alpha players don't as such ah, mention these things um, they fall off the radar of the devs and then don't get fixed and then you have games going to full gold public release and start trying to charge um, triple A title prices while your game's still buggy as all heck um, I'm not pointing the finger at the ARC developers or anything like that <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about folks so anyway right butchery table I dig I've digressed enough. There should be somewhere in here a butchery table. Now, this is probably the one thing that annoys me about the ch inventory changes. Stuff you've made at a crafting table, there should be a, a storage, a, there should be a carpentry table storage, but the only thing it should be for is output. So, 
of when you make like a table or something like that. You shouldn't have to then go and hunt it down in a chest. It should just have it there presented at the top. That's probably my number one thing is that the, the top inventory should be, there should be an inventory for the table where its outputs go and then happy days. What am I going to do while we're here? I'm just going to okay, make them at this table. Can I? No. Poop. Do need some more um, arrows, but we can't make them here. No. We'll have to experiment with water wheels too at some point. Uh, but, anyway, let's put our butchery table down, which looks suspiciously like Our agriculture table. There we go. We might have to put signs up there, I think, folks. And our quarry's finished. Nice. So we might be able to... I think we have a problem there. Our quarry probably needs to go in a room. What room does it need to go into? Uh... 25 volume must be contained within a room. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Don't know if I can squeeze the quarry into this room or not. Well, let's have a look. This is good. We've got plenty of cool stuff to butcher up which would be good because that means we can make a higher quality food now let me see I wonder if I can put it there I wonder if I can squeeze it in there I can jump up there awesome that would Did. I'm not getting out that door. Okay. Possibly a temporary position. Would you believe that the room is sufficient for that? Good. I would like to move it down one. I'm going to try and. I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to pick that up. Then I'm going to come in here. I'm going to nine. I'm going to e my quarry around. Beautiful. Pop my quarry down there. And then I'm going to zero. And. Pop my butchery table down right next to it. Beautiful. So I can come in here. Get my quarry on. Beautiful bakery oven. We need baking. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim churu. We can make a kiln, which I think we need before we make the bloomery. We definitely need the kiln before we make the bloomery because and it has to go in a mortared stone room. So we're going to build the kiln. And then we're going to start working on pitch. Because we need mortared stone. So, mortared stone, you ask. We've got pitch processing efficiency level 2. We have to make pitch in the campfire. I don't think we can make pitch... Two different kinds of pit masonry pitch. Okay, cool. So we need to go and get a metric crap ton of sand. Alright, so that's gonna be on our list of things to do. Come during the grind. So we'll be I'll be making pitch while we're off uh, off camera. So let's have a look here. What can we butcher? Alright, we can butcher 
Right. So we can get four. We can get four raw meat and four hide from two hairs. So, well, we're clearly going to do that. Okay, we can butcher. That needs to be improved too. Um, all right, so we can't make any bacon. We came from raw meat. That's interesting. Raw bacon. Mmm, bacon. Um, sorry, I digress. Okay, so we've got 10 elk, so we can. I think we might just butcher up five of those. That's going to give us 100. Wow. It's going to give us 100 raw meat, apparently. Okay. In theory, I don't know where. I, I don't know why it said a hundred, but anyway, we'll see what comes out. Which question is that? None of these seem to be. Oh. They're not running because 75 square meters of the room's being used. Oh. So we can't put the quarry there. Right. Let's explain why there's no kiln sound. Yes, cancel project. And pick that up. So we're gonna have to build a new room there we go. So we're going to have to build a new room for the quarry. Alright, cool. Another project to do off of camera. Um, what else have we got to butcher up? Prime cut. Nice. Uh, butcher bison. Mm, butcher bison. Yeah, I think we'll... Butcher all three of our bison. So I don't think there's much else we can do with them. So we'll put all that butchery to use. And we'll get us a bunch of raw meat, which is awesome because then we can start making roast and all kinds of cool food. So anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. We did well, we accomplished couple of things we know what building projects we need to do next now we need to decide in which direction we're going to build we'll probably come probably require us to move the campfire but that's okay and I think we'll come out here so the campfire hmm so we're we going to put the campfire to be frank That's going to be an interesting thing. Mm. Yeah. So we'll build out another room out here. Which will be our stone working room. Which will be cool. Let's close that. Um, eventually we'll probably move upstairs as well. Which will be awesome. Though I hate the way stairs work in this game. That's something. That's something I'm really not sort of... A giant fan of. Um, let's see. Which it, yeah. All right, so we need to use that up before we. All right, so we'll wait till the butchery is done. We'll cook up a bit, use up the last of the power, and then we'll build the new room off camera. And when we return, we'll have a bunch of points. Hopefully, things will be looking good. And yeah, happy days. So anyway, thanks again for joining us. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Smash that thumbs up button, that'd be awesome because support is really awesome. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more. Eco, Seven Days to Die, Subsistence, and anything else I'd come up with that might be interesting to play. Um, and comments, as always, please feel free if you thusly are inclined to leave a comment or two because they're awesome and I love reading them so anyway